So, but the thing that sparked my interest is you mentioned the difference between objective and subjective. And this is so fascinating because when you look at the Verber Wexler report, uh, which is the first report that, that was so well done that the allies could not believe it, could not not believe it. And, and it was because of course it was objective. There was no subjective elements in that report, which is why uh, Jan Karski in 1941 had a, an audience with FDR for an hour and a half, uh, uh, explaining what was going on. Uh, the, any testimonies that came out were not believed. And so when the verbal Wexler report was put together, they were, I don't know whether it was their intention or they were counseled, but the, what is so amazing and different about that report, of course, is it's completely objective and there, is, there are no testimonies about cruelties or whatnot. And this is the document that succeeded in getting the allies to have to say that this is happening. And so it's very interesting that issue between objective and subjective. Uh, and it was very interesting in putting together this book. Uh, 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 so I, I would like what you said because it, it, the, the, we can then go on to talk about Verba or Verba and Wexer and the importance of that report. But the, the fact that it was done, uh, here's the diagram, here's the numbers of, on the trains, here's the, here's the mechanisms, here's it, but no stories about, you know, Rudy Verba lost his virginity in Auschwitz. He uh, fell in love with a woman from the, uh, the camp. The, the, the model camp uh, and the first time he, they made love was the night before she, uh, on the website, my website uh, manager said, you know, you can't say she went up and spoke, you know, up and smoke, that, that's, that's discourteous or something like that. I said, yeah, I kind of get it, but you know what? She literally did go up and smoke, but we, we I think I caved to her and I took that out, I'm not sure. But, but the fact that this, the psychological damage of losing your great love, your first love in that way the next day. Uh, this, I believe, might have motivated Verba to escape with Wexer as much as the stated desire to inform the world that the Hungarian Jews were next and I were going to escape to do this laudable good thing. Uh, uh, the, the, the psychological experience of that might have engendered a level of desperation and revolt in Verba that might have been equal to their laudable stated reason for taking the leap to escape. But if he'd written that up in his report uh, about, you know, I met this beautiful woman, that, that, that would not, that would be a reason for discounting the scientific factual information. And of course, the emotional and the objective are both important components, but the, their decision to, to not include anything emotional is very fascinating.